Up to this point in the tutorial, we have already looked at some page layout options. Now we are going to look at the page layout options for setting page margins as well as orientation and paper size. You will find margins orientation in the size commands on the page layout tab of your ribbon in the page setup group. Notice that here is margins, here is page orientation, and here is size. Let's take a look first at orientation. To select the command, again, it's a single click and it will expand down to a menu that allows you to choose between landscape or portrait. I'll go ahead and switch from landscape here to portrait and my worksheet will immediately reflect that new orientation. I can change my paper size by coming up here to the size command and selecting that with a single click. And here I'm presented with a list of various paper sizes. And notice that there are quite a few different paper sizes from which you can choose. If you did not find the paper size that you are looking for, you can click more paper size. This will open up the page setup dialog box to the page tab and here you can come in to the paper size option and go ahead and create a new paper size. I'll go ahead and say OK to this to close it. And then finally to set your page margins if you come over here and select that with a single click it will expand down and show you some of the most common margins that are available in Microsoft Excel. Notice that the very top one is your last custom setting and this is one that you might have already set in another workbook that you can apply to this workbook. I'll go ahead and choose normal here for the spreadsheet I am working on. I'll go ahead and set that and you'll see again the changes reflected immediately in your document. Now for the purpose of our project, go ahead and open up your product list worksheet. If you would like to open one that is developed up to this point in the tutorial, open up 0711 start file. Let's go ahead and set our margins for our first worksheet, the product list worksheet, by coming up here to margins and let's choose normal by clicking that once and let's make sure your orientation is set to portrait because that will fit the product list the best so go ahead if it's not selected please select portrait and then double check that your paper size is set to eight and a half by eleven or the letter paper size now a new feature with Excel 2007 that's really quite nice is the ability to set different orientations as well as paper size and margins for other worksheets that make up a workbook so come over here to your menu worksheet, select that, and let's come up here to margins and give this more of a margin than just a 0.7 left and right. In fact, let's give it a one inch margin all the way around the top, bottom, and left and right. So we'll go ahead and select wide. This will be applied to our spreadsheet. You can see that by going into the page layout view and when I click that it will open up the page layout and I have a one inch margin here off to the left hand margin as well as the right hand as well as the top and the bottom. Nice feature and to prove that to yourself come back over here to product list select that and again come up to your margins notice that it is set as normal and then if you just click away to cause that menu to collapse come back over to the menu worksheet select that and now double check your margins and notice this one is set to wide. So a nice feature there that allows you to customize each of your worksheets with the right page setup for margins, orientation, and paper size. Take a moment, if you like, and try setting some different orientations and paper sizes as well as margins for your product list. Then when you get the style that you like or the page layout that you like, go ahead and save it and let's move on to the next movie.